if you've watched any of my last couple of videos, you know that I've recently gotten into a new social media platform called Steemit. It's basically like Facebook, except instead of Mark Zuckerberg, they have no one. Like, literally no one. There's no company. There's no management. There's no HR. There's no IT. There's no VPs. There's no Ps. There's no one. It's a social network built on a blockchain. And just like Bitcoin created a currency without a central bank or a treasury or any of that stuff, Steemit has leveraged the cryptocurrency Steam to create a social network that has no corporation behind it. Now, I'm working on a video where I talk about more in depth what I love so much about the company, but that's gonna take a little time. I really wanna make sure I get that right. So until then, I wanted to do a quick video about an interview I recently saw with the creator of the comic strip Dilbert, a guy named Scott Adams. And mostly what he talked about in that interview was the science of persuasion, who's using it, uh, what it can do for people. And I think his main mission is to talk about how you can leverage the science of persuasion to do good, to help. But within the conversation, the question came up of, well, who's using it for evil? And I thought it was interesting that the first companies, the first things that came to mind were the major social media companies like Facebook, Google, and Twitter. <laughs> Let me give you uh, a dangerous example, I guess. The biggest tech companies in the world, um, you can name them off, you know, Apple, Google, whatever, um, they all have a similar and disturbing business model, which is they need to disturb you and get your attention from the other things that you would rather be doing, perhaps. But they use science of persuasion at a deep level. I mean, they're actually A-B testing, you know, did, did this headline get you, did this one? These corporations are using science and technology to study how to manipulate you most effectively to get you distracted from your productive endeavors and focused instead on the content they're choosing to show you. In my view, social media, for example, is so refined in terms of a persuasion method that it's manipulative to the point it's Since addictive. Since this is yeah, what really is usually the case like with tech companies is that they get better and better and better at doing something. If they're studying how to manipulate you, if they're A-B testing the most man manipulative tactics, they're going to get so good at it, if they're not already so good at it, that you basically can't control yourself when you're using these platforms. I mean, I'm completely aware of the influence, and I actually sometimes will have to create a second conversation in my head where I'm saying, put it down, who's in control, put this down, move your hand, move your hand, put it down, put it down. And that's somebody who's aware of the technique, mm -hmm. right? Imagine somebody just saying, well, I think I just like social media. Right. <laughs> I mean, I know this isn't coming from me. Right. This is coming from Google right. and Apple, and they're freaking scientists who are so smart, they can make me do anything with my hands. They're making my hands move the way they want. Now, he doesn't talk about solutions to this. He talks about habits he's developed to prevent himself from falling into these black holes. But I actually think the real answer is steam it precisely because there's no company there. There's no one there to manipulate you. It's just the users. I think that's a really important thing to understand about Steemit. Everybody understands that these companies are trying to manipulate you for profit, and that's totally their right. I'm not knocking them. I'm not saying they're intentionally evil. It's just the nature of the beast. It's just when you have a corporation involved with a thing, they're going to try to maximize their profits, and this is and when your product is social networking, is human beings interacting with each other, that can get very dangerous. And while you can try to implement laws or regulations that somehow try to control this type of thing, we all know that those are gonna be remarkably ineffective. Steam it is a far better solution. You solve the problem of having a corporation that's manipulating you by eliminating the corporation. Now, if that all sounds too good to be true, if, there, if you figure there must be a catch to it, go to steamit.com, check it out for yourself. 
You don't have to pay anybody money. You don't have to link up a bank account. You can just start using it. You just need to create a password and you could start posting content. And bonus, you'll probably make a couple of bucks on your post.